Hey drivers, Brian your honest mechanic here. Today we're looking into something I see destroying engines way too often, cold start mistakes. Now I'm not being dramatic when I say these mistakes can literally cut 15,000 to 25,000 miles off your engine's life. So let's break down the five biggest cold start mistakes that are killing your engine, and more importantly, how you can avoid them. The first mistake I often see is people jumping in the car and immediately revving their engine cold. Here's what's actually happening inside. When your engine is cold, all those metal components, your pistons, cylinder walls, everything, they're actually smaller than they should be. Metal expands when it heats up, and these parts are precisely engineered to work at operating temperature. When you rev a cold engine, you're basically forcing these cold contracted parts to slam against each other. You might hear what we call piston slap, that rattling noise when your engine's cold. Those pistons are literally slapping against the cylinder walls because they haven't expanded to their proper size yet. Do this enough times, and you're looking at scored cylinder walls and worn piston rings. Trust me, that is not a repair bill you want to see. Now, here's a surprising one that's bound to stir up debate, letting your car idle for 10 minutes in the driveway. A lot of people think this is the right way to warm up their engine, but it's actually doing more harm than good. Here's why. When your engine's idling cold, it's running rich on fuel, which means excess fuel is seeping past those cold piston rings and diluting your oil. Plus, idling doesn't generate much heat, so the engine warms up painfully slowly. I've seen cars take 15 to 20 minutes to reach operating temperature just idling. Instead, start your car, wait about 30 to 60 seconds for the oil to circulate, and then drive gently. The key word here is gently. Driving under light load warms the engine up faster and avoids the damage caused by excessive idling. Speaking of oil, this next mistake is all about what's flowing through your engine. Many people overlook the importance of using the correct oil viscosity for their climate. When your engine's cold, the oil is thicker and moves slower. Even modern synthetic oils aren't immune to this. In those first few seconds after startup, your engine's parts are running with minimal lubrication. Think about it. Your oil pump is pushing thick cold oil through tiny passages. Until it fully circulates, there's metal-on-metal -metal contact. That's why using the manufacturer's recommended oil viscosity is non-negotiable, especially in winter. And again, those first 30 to 60 seconds after startup are critical. Wait for the oil to circulate before putting any load on the engine. Now that your engine is running, let's talk about another common habit that can cause serious damage. Shutting down your engine before it's fully warmed up. You start your car, drive two minutes to the store and shut it off. Seems harmless, right? Wrong. During that short run, your engine hasn't gotten hot enough to burn off moisture and fuel that build up in the oil. Over time, this causes the oil to break down and promotes internal corrosion. It's especially bad in winter, where short trips are common and engines struggle to reach optimal temperature. To avoid this, try to plan your trip so your engine has enough time to warm up fully. If you're only driving a short distance, consider walking or combining errands into one longer trip. It's better for your engine and your wallet in the long run. So, what's the correct cold start routine? It's simple. Start your engine and wait 30 to 60 seconds for the oil to circulate. Drive gently, keep it under 2,500 revolutions per minute, and avoid full throttle until the temperature gauge is in the normal range. For turbocharged engines, give it a bit more time before pushing boost. These small habits make a huge difference. I've rebuilt enough engines to see the pattern. The ones that fail early almost always suffered from poor cold start practices. Treat your engine right when it's cold, and it'll reward you with years of reliable service.